Hello guys, welcome back to your 11th Python programming tutorial. I know it's been almost a year since I've last posted a Python programming tutorial, but with uh, lots of demand, I decided to bring it back. So pretty much today we're, we're going to be going over our lists. Now lists are very important. Uh, you can use them for lots of things. Usually people don't use them until they reach like more than 100 lines of code, because otherwise, I mean, you can use them at any point in time. It's just they're not really needed unless you have lots and lots of code. Alright, with no further ado, I'm going to teach you how to use a list. Now a list it's pretty basic. All you're going to need to do is create a variable. Now, <laughs> we're going to be very basic here and name our variable list. Because, you know, we're creating a list. Alright, so we're going to set list is equal to and then set a pair of empty brackets. Now inside these brackets can go two things, either integers or quotation marks. Quotation marks if you want to add strings to text and integers if you would like to you know add integers alright so uh, for this one we're just going to do strings of text now set a pair of quotation marks and inside that quotation marks we're just going to put some random string and we'll put I as in me and then a set a comma after that set of quotation marks and once you set a comma you're ready to add the next part of your list now here you can add an integer if you want and uh, then you can set another comma and then add another string of text. It doesn't matter, but to keep it simple, what we're going to do is add another string of text, and we're going to put inside that string of text, we're going to make it called have. Now, for a list, you can have as many elements as you want. Now, let's say we have a list and it has a thousand items in it. It doesn't matter. As long as you know what you're doing and you know what each number of those items are, then I don't see why not. <laughs> All right. So, um, let's create another one, and inside this quotation mark, we're going to put A, and then one more we're going to put inside another set is dog. So, we have, I have a dog. Okay, well, that's pretty basic. Alright, so, uh, let's just print out this list, pretty basically, you just print list, variable, and you'll see, it says, I have a dog. But it's got these weird little brackets, and so, um usually people don't print lists unless um, you have uh, user input I mean is, what am I trying to say here okay so uh, usually people don't print lists unless you have a user's input inside that list like let's just say you want to create a grocery shopping list then you could do that in fact that's what we'll do at the end of the video okay so um, you can do many things with the list is uh, one thing you can do is you can add to the list uh, and you can do that by putting list dot append. Now append will add it to the end of the list. Uh, it's getting kind of confusing with the list being variable named with list. But um, anyways, so uh, what it does is it adds to the end. Now um, you can do list dot append and then parentheses and quotation marks, and you can put something else. I'm just going to put an exclamation point, and you can see print list and you'll see it adds an exclamation point okay so it's pretty basic a pin will add it now you can do the same thing but reverse uh, with list out remove and you can remove an element and you can do that by um, removing uh, let me see you can remove the letter a by putting a inside there and you can see it removes a or did it what what oh wait duh got to print it all right so uh, you can see it removed A, and uh, that's pretty basic, right? Uh, another one we can do is if let's just say we had integers, right? So we had like 22, 55, 11, 15, 58, and 62. All right. So we have all these integers, and you can see there's no rhyme or reason to why they are there. Uh, they're not in, you know, order or anything no common multiples nothing alright so uh, what you can do is you can also do list.sort and what that does is it sorts everything from smallest to greatest uh, so you can go ahead and do that and print out the list and you can see it sorts all of them uh, least from greatest alright so that's just you know three basic things you can do with a list now in order to create a shopping list just for the fun of it um, let's call this G list uh, that just stands for grocery list and it's going to be equal to an empty set of brackets alright so uh, let's just do uh, 
print out what is first on your list. All right. And uh, let's just do G list one is equal to input of something, right? And uh, hold on, let's do this. That way it looks official. All right. So G list one. Oops, no, it's actually G list dot append G list one. All right, makes sense. I hope it does. So then we'll do the same thing. Print. What is the second item on your list? All right, and G list two equals input. All righty, and uh, G list dot append G list two, and uh, just for you know the sake of the program, what we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the list after we add something to it so print G list alright and then for one final item what is the third item on your list alrighty uh, G list yeah let me see here alright I can already see an error lowercase that alrighty G list 3 equals input alrighty uh, G list dot append G list three all right and then print your final list is and uh, print G list let's see if this works out just check my capitalization if it's all correct this is not correct that needs to be capital L because it's capital up there and alrighty this needs to be capital all right this needs to be capital Oops. And this needs to be capital. All right. All right. So um, there we go. Let's see if this works. What is the first time on your list? All right. We're shopping for some eggs. Oh, wait. Ugh. It's a raw input. What am I doing with my life? My life is confusing. Oops. All right. So let's try this now eggs all right what is the second item on your list the second item on our list is gonna be bacon because everybody needs eggs and bacon right wait a minute okay there we go just a minor capitalization I thought I went through and I fixed it all but I did not so we're shopping for eggs we're shopping for bacon and lastly on our list is milk right your final list is eggs bacon and milk now let's say uh, you wanted to add more items to this list and you wanted to keep going until the user inputted the word done now what we'll do is we'll go over that in our next tutorial because that's kind of a further down the line because we're going to use some loops in that and it's not even exactly a difficult thing it's just we're running out of time right now uh, well I'm back so welcome back to your Python programming tutorials because I'll keep this going for a while and hopefully you learn Python uh, by the end of these. All right, so make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, do whatever it takes. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next, okay? Although, actually, what you're about to see next is a grocery list that just keeps going and going until the user wants it to stop. All right, so <clears throat> just let me know. And uh, that's about it. All right, see you guys.